right new. Uh, 150.95. It's recording today. <laughs> 150.95, please, yes. It's recording today. I've been waiting for this day for how long? Thank you very much. All right. Same to you, thank you. Greetings folks, it has been an extremely long time. There's a good reason for that obviously. So let's do the boring bits first and then we'll get to the exciting bits today. So uh, four months ago I went for a carpal tunnel operation. It's basically that little cut there, seven centimeters, which uh, did not enable me to ride for that extended period because I couldn't put pressure on my hand and then my beast broke so the motorcycle obviously had a breakage so that's piston on the right hand side that broke uh, rings that I had to replace on the bike uh, bearings that I had to replace so the bike was in for, at the shop for an extended period of time to get repaired and it was obviously over the holiday seasons and so forth and so on so uh, finally got the bike back as you can see and uh, it's running good it's still running in so I've got a thousand kilometers that I need to run the bike in on uh, currently sitting on about 580 odd kilometers that I've done already with the motor under 3000 rpm so that's frustrating because you can't really uh, gun it you need to keep uh, the rpms low in order for the bearings and the piston to seat properly in the sleeve so yeah that's about the, the boring bits so um, what I'm going to do today is I am going to try something new so we'll start off with just one more stop that I need to make obviously I replaced the mirrors on the bike I didn't like those round ones that it had on so I updated it to the more recent ones these are uh, basically an imitation of the mirrors that come out with the newer models of the GS1200 BMWs um, but it looks very close to the originals the difference obviously is the price uh, BMW the original mirrors are in the vicinity of a being I think about uh, seven or eight hundred bucks a pop that's one for each side um, these obviously were 350 rand at Safari 4x4 yeah, in my local town. So I uh, support Safari 4x4 and um, I'm just going back there because this uh, one mirror had a little nick on it. And uh, yeah, they obviously said, bring it on by, we'll swap it for you, no problem. Because they obviously fitted them and that's the kind of folks they are. And then once we are done there by Safari 4x4 with the mirrors, we are going to go check out some uh, motor bikes. Nice BM. I'm gonna go check out some motorbikes at uh, BMW Open Day. BMW has got an open day today, and we're gonna go check if we can uh, test drive some of those motorbikes. So, here's Safari 4x4. Let's get those mirrors sorted. Oh, this is uh, already waiting for me. Eh? Hello, hello. Right, so we got the mirror replaced. Had a nice chat with the folks there. And what I want to do now is I just want to quickly stop here just to get my gloves on. All gear all the time. Indeed. Right, so now the bike has gotten its uh, upgrade done. We're going to head over to the Windmill Casino here in my town. And we're going to go have a look at those uh, motorcycles. And see if we can ride some of those motorcycles. So I presume what BMW is going to have there is like the, that new 1250 GS that they've got. Some of the other brand new models. Um, they've got those Pasola thingies. I'm not familiar with them. But I know of them. 
Oh, there's a lot of bikes here. I can already see this. Guys checking it out, probably going for test driving. Noise. There's that Pasola I talked about. <laughs> Okay, so let's go find a parking spot because there's a couple of bikes here. Here's a 1250, but this is obviously somebody's bike. That's a huge bike. Holy hell, that's huge. It has to be the Adventure, I believe, this one. But that's big, eh? That's, that's a big boy. 1250 HP. What is the difference between this and a normal 1250? Um, they just call it the HP, so it's just a color scheme. So they, and this is actually a sport suspension also. So it's only the HP that you do get in sport suspension. And other than that, it's, it's more or less the same. This is stock standard how it comes from the factory. Yes. Awesome stuff. So you do get them also in the spec with a double seat. That's a pavilion seat and with a bigger screen. You'll feel it's a bit windy. Okay. Like Alright. And obviously... It's got adjustable suspension? It does have adjustable suspension. Yeah. So you have a setting that you can put it on minimum, auto or max. So on auto it will actually, when someone comes at the back or when you have baggage on it, it will automatically self level it. Okay. Suspension on minimum, maximum, depends on what riding you're going to do. With it. Okay, and it's obviously got the, all the new features here. The wheel that you can adjust for gravel, road. No, that's only going to be on your motor setting. So if you put it on the side. Just wait until it goes up. So yeah, there you have your mode settings. You'll see there it's on dynamic pro at the moment. Then you can change it to Endero Pro, Rain and Road. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in dynamic. Dynamic report is basically full open full open and then on your suspension side you'll see there it's on auto at the moment, it's also on dynamic okay. suspension. The moment when you change it to Indira Pro, it will also change the suspension to Indira. Okay. ABS okay. and Dash don't need to take it off if yes. you want to um, street ride in here, but if you want to pop wheelies or something, then you can. <laughs> and cruise control, you know, it works. Yeah. And yeah, other than that, it's just basics. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's give it a walk around quickly standard exhaust system on the bike it's obviously got no crash bars on this is stock standard as it comes from the factory it actually does sound really nice throttle is very responsive it's obviously got those nice BMW calipers on there with the nice brake discs vented well it's actually a beautiful bike so for somebody that's a shorter person when riding I'm 173 let's have a look at uh, how easy it is to mount the bike Let's get those pillions closed up there. Let's see. Oh, it is quite high. Alright. So this is obviously one of the brand new 1250s. So I can feel the bike is quite high. Clutch. Let's, uh, let's get used to it. So let's take it slow. Oh, that throttle is very responsive. I was worried about my bike, but that basically sounds like it's almost exactly the same. So this is a 1250. This is about 50 cc's more than what my bike currently has. The shifts are thin smooth on this thing. I did not even feel that going into second. But the throttle is like, whoo daddy. That is just immediate. Weight-wise, this bike is very nimble. I'll just put both feet down. I can definitely feel I'm tippy-toeing this bike. So this is quite high. Obviously, it did mention that it's got adjustable suspension. So that means you can adjust it for an obviously an easier ride. If you're a shortened person like me, Let's hear what it sounds like though. I'm gonna leave my visor open. 
<laughs> Mother! No, I have to be honest, that, that is quite breathtaking. I have to say I'm impressed with that, that's just phenomenal. Look, compared towards the normal 1200 2006 model I've got and which I'm riding, this is what model is this thing? This is a new model, this is a 2021 bike. So this is brand new. Um, obviously you see those mirrors that I changed. Acceleration? That's in third. Bloody hell. The wind, there's not too much wind, I can feel the buffeting there. But there, this is, there's, there's no wind here. So even with the little shorter screen on it, it's, it's a great ride. The bike feels solid, eh? So those are your heated grips over there. That's the modes. That's your stop start for the motor to switch it on. The ABS that he obviously mentioned to get into the bike's menus. Your indicators, your horn. This is uh, obviously to cycle through the, the menus. It's got that little rolling pin gear there that you can use. And then that is obviously your cruise control that he mentioned. I specifically chose this road because I know this road has got a lot of bumps on it. So even in my vehicle, this, this is a crappy road to drive. It's like bouncy bouncy the whole time. I've been looking at the 1250 for a while now, but I've never had the opportunity to ride one. But it was worth the wait. This thing is just amazing. So now, I don't know if this bike has got that. Let's check if it's got the self-cancellation. Let's see if it auto-cancels. I actually didn't ask him if it's got auto cancellation. It does, it does have the auto cancellation. That is quite cool. Because normally you forget to put off your indicators. It's difficult to keep this thing in the speed limit, eh? Hence that cruise control. The lights, there's your uh, hazards. Let's just give it a squeeze, shall we? This thing, the acceleration, there's absolutely no problem with this bike's acceleration. That's in fourth gear, but you can hear motor nice and soft. Take it a bit on the highway, see what that does. How the wind affects actually with having the little short screen on it. It's got a punch, eh? It's definitely got a punch. If you are in the market for a new motorcycle and you want to have something that um, you can go off-roading with, that's uh, all around the bike, I would definitely suggest this one. Oh, that's just smooth, eh? Let's close this up a bit. Folks, that's uh, that is extreme acceleration there. Eh? The wind is not bothering me much at this point in time. If I had the Mullers, I would consider buying this one for myself. Absolutely fantastic motorcycle. The 1250 HP highway riding, absolutely brilliant on the motorbike. It's a very windy day today. I don't know if you can hear that, but um, you should be able to hear that wind just smashing me from the front. Oh, it's an absolutely fantastic day for doing test riding. Every single time. That is just... I love it. Man, what a treat. Being back on the motorcycle and then getting to ride this beast. Listen to that beast. Well, that sounded impressive as well, eh? This bike is absolutely impressing the socks off me. Listen to that. This thing is a rocket you need to hold on to. <laughs> Man, what a blast. It feels like being strapped to a jet. Absolutely. Okay, so obviously these motorcycles aren't only built for speed. 
whereby this one has plenty of power speed is a byproduct going fast got that from gone in 60 seconds folks <laughs> so yeah obviously it's not always about the speed of the motorbike it's about the technical stuff there's a lot of guys doing technical work with these ones you know going off-roading uh, going up the mountains the styling it's absolutely beautiful i love the blue this is because blue is obviously you know blue and silver is my favorite colors i was actually concerned because i've still got analogs on my motorbike and uh, this one is obviously now fully digital uh, i was i was concerned about how, how responsive that is and uh, just having a look at it i mean technology has gone a long way eh? definitely technology has gone a long way this is absolute rush riding this bike eh? absolutely just listen to that it's just that is just smooth shifting not that i would say i'm the best shifter but that's just absolutely smooth shifting right there are you waiting for this one <laughs> so yeah that's a look at the 1250 hp i have to say i like the styling of this motorbike it is indeed a monster beautiful yeah so look if you're definitely in the market for a motorbike i can uh, i can definitely recommend that one absolute beast i really enjoyed that ride